If you don't take your zombies for daily walks, they get restless and start chewing on the furniture. Hello everyone! We're back with Graveyard Keeper, and today we're gonna build a zombie slave army. Normally I prefer real living slaves, but we're not really allowed to do that yet in this game, so we're gonna have to settle for the zombie variety. Now, according to this talking idiot, I've got a dude chained up in the northern side of my basement somewhere, so we need to go and find him, and he's gonna help us do our zombie thing. And if you're wondering why there's a man tied up in my basement, well that's because I'm pretty sure this is the direction I need to go, because there's definitely no dude chained up in any other part of my basement, so I've gotta wait for Snake, whatever his name is, to stroll on by on whatever day of the week that is. So for now, I'm just gonna do what I normally do and go waste a bunch of time until the day is right. And I'm mostly just wandering around. What are you? You're new. Do you want to get married? Be my wife, we'll have some kids. It'll be a good old farm life. That one doesn't talk a lot. Also incapable of having children, so that might just be the best spouse there ever was. I'm gonna check my basement again because I'm impatient. Nothing. But as I found out before, if you want to skip time, well, just swing your sword a whole bunch. You'll run out of energy, then you can go to bed, then you can skip time. I also have a sandbox now. Apparently I can meditate in it. That's fun. I'm glad they added this. Snake doesn't appear to be here today, but it is moon day and I'm pretty sure that's astrologer day and I'm pretty sure I need to do something involved with that, so I'm gonna go there. I'm not really sure of any of this, I just have nothing better to do until Snake shows up. I think this young kid is the astrologer. Yes, I need your help. Ten happies. I need to open the portal, uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm sure that's all very good. Can we skip this along? I feel like I need to do something more important with you than talk about this. Hey, we got a key. Keeper's key. Oh, that might be for the dungeon. What happened to him? Strokes his beard. Magnificent. He just disappeared. Hasn't been seen or heard from since. I tried to find him, but nobody knew him. I even started thinking he was just a figment of my imagination. Well, you are pretty old. Thank you for your help. Maybe senior citizens aren't useless after all. So at this point, I just need to continually check my dungeon to find a man. So he can unlock the gate so I can find another man that is chained to the wall. Okay, yeah, looking at the NPC tab. Astrologer. He's wise and tired of everything, even life. I can help him with that. But, collect the old keeper's diary from the church cellar. So clearly I did need the key to get into the cellar or to at least get the diary, so that's part of it. I just need to find this snake guy. I guess while I'm waiting I can actually do productive stuff with my graveyard. I mean, it still needs some work. All the bodies are buried though and I don't have one waiting for me. And to get more bodies I need to feed the stupid donkey stupid carrots and I don't want to grow any carrots right now. I really want some zombie slaves to do all this for me. I just realized all the tools have their own tool slot over here now, so you can actually take them out of your inventory and have a ton more room. That's a really good update. I like that. Most productive thing I've done yet. I actually planted some carrots. A few days from now, the donkey will get carrots, so at least I'll have bodies to play with. Hey, look who I found hiding in my basement overnight. The guy I need. Give him key. Try to convince him. Oh, we need to actually pay him for stuff. Well, hopefully he's going to stand here for a little bit. I'm pretty sure I do have five of those. And if not, I think I know how to get them. So you just sit there and don't move because I really need you to stay there for a minute while I get five of the sun things. I definitely had the required stuff hiding in my chest because I've actually been playing this for quite a bit. Now, hopefully he hasn't gone anywhere. Oh, he is gone. No, he left. I was gone for like three seconds. Come back. I need you. What was that? That was like moon day into Sunday. Why are you leaving? I need you. I think he comes back on one of the other days, but that's really, really annoying because I was gone for 30 seconds. Not even 30 seconds. Yeah, you know what? You're busy. I'm busy too trying to get the game done, but you're not going to hang out with me. So I'm going to follow you wherever you go. I'm going to be right here behind you annoying you until you come back. You know, I could just give you this stuff right now and it's that easy. And he's gone. Well, that's really annoying. I'm not sure how long he was there for. I checked during moon day. He wasn't there. I checked during kind of the night between moon and Sunday and he was there for a few seconds. So great. I guess for now we'll just do our church thing and then we're going to skip time until he shows up again. And if anything, we're going to get some more of the faith points. So great. I can't even remember what they're used for at this point, but I know we have lots for a snake. Six faith points and how much money? Uh, one silver, 76 copper, plus that, so a little over three, three and a quarter silvers, we'll call it. And that's not a lot considering how much effort I put into this church so far. Lucky me, we're back to the waiting game. As I swing my sword until I run out of energy, sleep, hopefully Snake shows up, then rinse and repeat until he actually shows up. Well, look who's back. We better give him what he wants before he leaves again because he's only ever here for five seconds at a time. I have nothing against you. Maybe I can even help you. Great. Hmm, you appear useless, but also harmless. Help me open this gate. Well, I'm one of those things. I have these instructions and apparently I need a key. My lockpicks won't work. Bring me the key and we'll talk. Make one or find it, I don't care. But, don't I have it? 
Okay, I need something behind this door too, so I'll try to help. You can take these instructions. Give him the key. Instructions for the key. Oh, I gotta do more work. Okay, where do those instructions sit? In here? You need to use a keeper's key with this instruction at a study table. I've got a study table over here. This should work. Now, let's get this done sooner than later. Wait, isn't this a study table? You need to use a keeper's key with this instruction. Oh, okay, there we go. I get it. Oh, we even have all this stuff on us. Perfect. The item can be decomposed into the proper key, and I get a whole bunch of points to that. I'm going to walk back, and he's going to be gone now. Yep, he's gone. He left. Great. Do you think, uh, game devs, you could maybe leave him sitting there for any amount of time at all? Thanks in advance. Well, I guess there's always next week. He does show up at night, though, so maybe that's what I'm getting wrong. So I'm going to sleep till tonight, and hopefully he'll come back. Because every time I find him, I talk to him, I go do something for 30 seconds, I come back, and he's gone. Alright, I finally got the elusive snake again for at least 30 seconds, and I'm pretty sure I finally have all the stuff he needs. Here's the key. The key for the gate. No, it should open pretty nicely. At last, one step closer. Okay, you go first. I'm talking about all of them. Okay, you have fun with that, and I'm gonna go do my own thing now. Whatever. Oh, I think I see what I'm looking for. Ow. Yeah, that's a nice furnace setup. Let's go ahead and incinerate anyone who walks in there. And I'm dead. You have died. Oh, I did die. Oh, wait, what just happened? It seems like I'm alive and back home. Very good. Under the circumstances, I'm not sure that's good news. Yeah, I'd rather honestly just stay dead. I need to go back and get that diary. Nope, I need to go back and deal with that man chained to the wall. I want some zombie helpers, then I can do other stuff. Or, more accurately, they can do stuff. Yeah, Snake, I'm gonna go ahead and take a pass on all your stuff. Hmm, I should check. Oh, here's my chained up man. I knew he was nearby. Hello, friend, I need your help. Holy guacamole. I say that all the time in real life. Indeed, what a pleasant surprise. I've been so desperate to see someone again. Are you alive? Well, they're talking and moving. Let's just say I'm conscious, and I'm glad to hear you so kindly offered your help. My name is Gunter. Gunter? Gunter? There should be a lever on the right. Uh, got it? Oh, there we go. Good. I was worried I was going to have to get another key. Great. I'm surprised it's still working. Now, would you be so kind as to hit me with your sword a couple times? I like this guy. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Here you go. Tickle, tickle. Ooh, that's good. Tell me about it. First feeling I've had in many years. Now, I'll be happy to answer your questions. Who are you? Like I said, I'm Gunter. Are you dead? Hmm, that's a complicated question. Personally, I prefer to be called an undead person. But in popular culture, we're known as zombies. How do I replicate you? How did you become a zombie... whatever? Science! Plus a little bit of magic. The old master made me. Actually, he made a lot of us. Do my brothers still work at the graveyard? No, I think there's only you. By the way, I'm the new graveyard keeper. Oh, then you should make more, uh... Then you should make me more brothers. They'll be a big help for you. They better be. How can I make new undead? Oh, it's quite simple. You can find a resurrection table blueprint on the rack to your left. There should also be a couple bottles of the main resur resurrection ingredients nearby. You can make more at the alchemy desk. Wow, this sounds like a lot of stuff to play with. Do you know the recipe? Well, the second ingredient is blood, but I'm not sure about the first. I think it's some kind of powder. Probably gunpowder. Now, how can your brothers help me? Oh, they could do simple crafts for you. Crafts? If you give them the right gear, they'll be able to gather resources for you, even transport them. What gear? Hmm, I believe one zombie should be buried under the rocks along the path to the forest. You can dig him up and examine his gear. Will they be like you? Sadly, no, I'm unique. Something went wrong with me, I was too smart. That's why the old master chained me here. I didn't fit in. I can unchain you. I've been chained up here for too long, my flesh is too rotten. Plus, I kind of like it here. And finally, why did you ask me to hit you? Oh, in my current situation, I can feel nothing. First, it was a nightmare, but then I found out I can still feel pain. It doesn't feel like pain, though. More like a gentle breeze, but still, it's all I have. I can hit you again if you like. Ah, now we're talking. That's very kind of you, but I must refuse. After so many years, your strikes were truly a pleasure. It will be a couple years before I can feel anything like it. And I have too little flesh on my bones to waste it. Yeah, right, here we go. I'll take care of you. Just 
Sit tight. It'll all be over soon. He's got a lot of health. I wonder if he is able to die. I hope so. How do you still have a candle burning in here, by the way? Well, I'm out of energy. How is that? Good? Nope. Okay, so I think this is where we find the blueprint for the resurrection table. Good. And he said something about an alchemy table somewhere. He did also say there's a zombie outside, so we gotta go check out that one, because we get a free zombie that way. And under technologies now, we have the green tab, second chance. Luckily, I have lots of blue points. Uh, that makes the resurrection table, so I guess we need to do that. And then zombie logistics, porter station. Not really sure what that is, but it's actually quite cheap. So we got a zombie porter station too. Let's go find our outside zombie and then we'll forget this basement ever existed. Good luck with your problem though, Snake. Because you were so helpful to me, I'm going to return that favor and be so helpful to you. Now, this could take a few minutes because I wasn't really paying attention to what he had said. I was just in a hurry to find the zombies and I forgot that I don't really get a lot of direction as to where to find these things. But I'm going to go ahead and assume what's right here at the magnifying glass where zombies would be buried. This must be the place Gunter was talking about. I should start looking for that zombie. Uh, okay, well, we're just out of energy. That's what I get for hitting him with a sword so many times. Okay, new zombie slave, I'm back. Let's get you to work before the bats come. Actually, can you to protect me from the bats? Why do I have to do this twice? Oh, there we go. Uh, you unlocked the new technology and got start building sawmill. Right, I guess I was just kind of tucked in there with the zombie. What do I do with him now? Resurrection table, I would imagine. All right, well, we're just going to take him for a walk. If you don't take your zombies for daily walks, they get restless and start chewing on the furniture. Curiosity is really winning the battle right now. Can I throw you in there? Oh, I can. Okay, I'm glad I didn't just go for that. I would have lost my free zombie. So tempted to do that. Well, let's go see the nightmare that's going to be making a resurrection table. It's probably made out of the rarest things ever and going to take 40 years to do. Wait, do you, do, do, what happens if I just work efficiency 10%? I got to get him some more white skulls, I think. Work, work, work. We'll take the blood and the fat out of this zombie to see how this goes. Yeah, I think this is actually working out pretty well. I can't remember what the other thing is. You could take out either the brain or the heart or the skull that would maybe give them more. But anyways, let's see what it takes to build a resurrection table. Our zombie friend isn't going anywhere. Resurrection table. Four wooden planks, four complex iron parts. I think I probably have most of that. Well, I definitely have four complex iron parts, and those are going to be the harder things to build. Wooden planks are made out of flitch. Okay, so I need flitch. Actually, I can start making these right now. This will be fun. One resurrection table. Oh, we get to put it wherever we want. Well, we're going to put it close to where the zombies go. We still need to maintain a walking path. That seems like a good spot. Now we got to assemble it because of course we do. This is why I need zombie slaves. Do all the work for me. Wow, this thing takes forever to do. Did you enjoy that? If I've got to sit through it, you do too. Let's take this guy. Take body, and we're gonna go ahead and toss him up here and see what we can do. No body, what? Make zombie workers from bodies here. Yeah, I get that, I'm holding a body. Can I plop him down? Nope. Uh, excuse me, you, hey, get in my hands. Okay, go, uh, go up there. Do I need to put him here first? Does he, does he auto transfer? Is that the way it works? No body. Uh, oh, make zombies from workers' bodies here. I get it. Because this one, I think, is already a zombie. So I think I could just go put him to work somewhere, if I'm understanding this correctly. I think until you give him a job, they just kind of do that. So I'm not really sure yet. We're going to take him up to that second uh, mining area I set up to see if he can get to work. What is this? This is new. I've never seen this before. What are you? Big tree sawmill. Is that a zombie only thing? It's green. That would be cool. Just have him working on logs the whole time. Can we unlock that? I wonder if that's under something here. Smithing, farming, nature. Big, big tree sawmill. Zombie gardening. Okay, so we can unlock different things here. I get it. All right, I found it. Zombie woodcutting, zombie mining. We're going to unlock both of these because we have lots of points to spare. Oh, we can't even get that far. Okay, we're going with zombie mining then because I can't unlock it currently. Build. Okay, here we go. Mining or left. Mining ore right and a porter station. I don't really know what a porter station is. Oh, well, that's where they carry stuff, I think, judging by the map. So zombie ore mine left and right. So he needs a pickaxe, nails, flitch. Was anyone paying attention to how many of those things I needed? Because I've already forgotten. Well, whatever, we'll just bring a whole bunch and we're out of energy. But hey, if you're looking for efficiency, you've come to the wrong channel. Oh, look, he's waiting for me, just having a little nap. This might be the ore here and the other one, whatever, I'm just going with left. I can build two of these if I have to, it's not a big deal. 
left. Did it work? Wait, I think I found it. When it says left, it actually means upper right. You gotta walk all the way up here to find it. I see, so the zombies can do either of these things. Can we go in here? Is this new? So we should be able to turn this into something or just leave the zombie here. There we go. There, he's hard at work. He's gonna pump out the uh, ore and I think we do another one for coal and stuff later. Now, all we need for a porter station is two pieces of paper and I can get that. I think I've got that in my church. Clean paper, all right. Okay, one porter station. This one seems to come pre-built. Uh, cargo shows you everything in here. No worker assigned, so we gotta give it a worker. But we don't have a worker yet, so we gotta go make a new one. I think at this point, what I wanna do is unlock the zombie wood cutting because then we can do the sawmill thing and just have the zombies endlessly harvesting wood for me. All it takes to build the big tree sawmill is one ax, which I already have, nails, and flitch. I obviously need to make another ax, that way the zombie can use the spare one. Just takes a little bit of time to get the corpses and make them all into zombie slaves. Now, this dangerous looking lumber yard is ready for a zombie. I'm still waiting for corpses though, because the donkey's slacking off. I mean, the carrots are here, donkey. I'm ready when you are. Wow, look who decided to show up finally. Well, at least we get to see the body shoot in action. I'm excited for that. Worked real hard on that. You didn't even put it in the body shoot. That's fine, whatever. I don't care anymore. 10 faith and one zombie juice. I don't have any zombie juice. Uh-oh. This might get a little more complicated than I thought. First step, let's fix up this body a bit. Where and how do I get zombie juice? He's at Alchemy Station, and I don't think I have one of those. I don't even know if I can make one of those. Can't make one of those either. Great. So this might be where things start to get more complicated. Just look through all my technologies, look through all the buildings, cannot find alchemy stuff anywhere, so I have no idea how to do it. Well, it turns out I need to progress a little further into the quest before I unlock the alchemy table, so that's kind of fun. I was able to get the zombies right away, but only one, and then I gotta make it way further into the game before I can get more that are actually useful. So for now, we're just gonna go check on a single zombie that we have to see what he's up to. I have no idea what this means. There's coal with a box with a red arrow pointing into it. I gotta take it out and I get a zombie. Not sure where the other stuff went. I assume it's somewhere nearby. I think he's still mining. I have no idea really. Hopefully I gathered enough ingredients. I often don't. There we go. And repairing the bridge. Ooh, this one's actually the quick. I don't have to wait for 15 minutes. Excellent, good bridge. I honestly forgot just how annoying this swamp maze is. It's kind of hard to navigate. Once you know the route, it's not that bad, but it's been a long time since I've done this, so I'm kind of getting impatient. I think we're on the right track now. Once you find your way in, it's not that bad. I think it just kind of spirals around and you follow the wider section of land, but I'm not there yet, so don't take my word for it just yet. And touchdown. I think we're there. The witch's hut is somewhere right about here. Hopefully she'll come out and see me. I didn't activate the quest, I don't think, but whatever. I should probably start doing things in order because she doesn't seem to be around right now. She's clearly here in the hut. It's the witch's land, but she's just not answering the door. Wait, wait, it just turned into day and we've got a witch. Go away, foul spirit. I'm not a spirit. I'm the keeper at the local graveyard. I'm raising zombies, literally bringing the dead back to life. But most importantly, alchemy workbench. Uh, also hand mixer and alchemy mill. Um, I've never really played with any of this stuff. A bird friend told me you have a garden. Is that true? Oh, I shouldn't have talked to her again. How about this? I'll come back again when I need something else from you. Until then, you're not going to see me. Now, this would be the most complicated thing ever to build. Alchemy workbench. Uh, two advanced conical flasks. Yeah, that seems really easy to build. I can't wait to see what that involves. The rest of it's not that bad. Those are a little bit involved. I think I probably have those things, but I have no idea what it's going to take to make those. Advanced conical flasks. Crafted at Furnace 2 and Furnace 3. I wonder if I have those things. Right, so the next problem is I have glass blower, but for the advanced conical flasks, I need 30 blue points and I have zero, and blue points are really, really hard to get, so I've got to go see if there's something I could admire in my basement thing. I do currently have on my possession some skin and some bones. I can study both of those for blue points, and I think I have everything I need to study those, so those should give me more than enough. Blue points are important. How many do we get? 20. All right, we should have enough once we study the bone. If not, I'll take apart another corpse and study its insidey parts. Bone gives me probably another 20. 40. All right, well, that's more than enough to unlock the technology known as whatever this is. Good. Now to see the nightmare that it is making these things. It turns out my furnace is a level one furnace, so I need to upgrade it to something. Level two smelting, furnace two. Luckily I have 10 extra blue points and hopefully I don't need any more blue points further than this because I'm really not sure how easy it's going to be to get anymore. Actually, it turns out I have the option to just straight up upgrade this one into the new one, so that's even better. Cut out the middleman. Am I going to run out of energy first? I am. All right, well, I guess we'll finish this in the morning. There we go. Now we even have a chimney. Now, what's it going to take to make these things? 
So we need conical flasks plus water. These are made out of glass. Glass is made out of sand and water. So I'm going to need lots of sand and water. Right. And I forgot we got to wait for all this because it's a furnace. We don't actually make this stuff. We just wait for it to be done. So I'll see you guys in a little while. I can't wait to find out that these zombies aren't actually worth all this effort. Well, the furnace seems to be done with its first round of glass. So now we can turn it into conical flasks. We'll have 20 of those and then we can make the advanced ones. So great. Whoops, I did that wrong. Okay, whatever. We'll grab that one in the morning. So it turns out this new sandbox of mine is actually really great for passing time because you can just do it even a full energy and look at the time in the upper left goes by pretty quick. So awesome. It actually looks like making these advanced glass things give me blue points. Not a lot of them, but it does give me blue points. So that's kind of cool. We don't usually get a lot of those. I think maybe finally now I'm ready to go. 13 blue points. I can finally make the advanced alchemy, whatever it is I'm making. I'm already starting to mix everything up. There'll probably be another 40 steps involved. Alchemy workbench, finally. Yeah, I went a little overkill, but we made it. Can I put it down below? Oh, I can. Yeah, we're going to put that right there where it's close to our zombie friends. Excellent. One alchemy table. So we can combine water and water. Craft. What do we got? Mystery results. We got goo. Can we add goo to the zombie? Is this going to work? It doesn't want goo. I do think I want to try and build some of these other things, the hand mixer and the alchemy mill. I think that's going to help me making alchemy stuff to make my zombies better. Or at least make the zombies, because I still don't even have the ability to do that. Hand mixer going hopefully down here. Will that fit? Uh, I'll stuff it in the corner there. Good enough. Let's go see what this thing actually does. Now I can hand mix water together to make hand mix goo. And we can use nothing. Oh. Okay, I think I might need the alchemy mill before using a hand mixer. You may be mix things together first. I'm not really sure. I don't know how any of this stuff works. What does it take to build that last annoying thing? Polished brick of stone. Now, if only we had 50 blue points to spend and 70 greens. So, you know, this one is actually really hard to unlock. I don't even know how to do this right now. I have no idea what to do. Well, maybe now while I'm waiting for some points to come in, thanks to my furnace, I'm going to go visit my other zombie, see if I can put him into the porter station and see if he can just carry some stuff around at the very least. I can harvest some rock or something up here. He'll carry it back and forth. I don't really know yet. I just want to play with my zombie. Well, let's try it. Let's take him out of there because he's had enough fun in there and I'm going to put him in the porter station to see exactly what it is he does. Okay, he's carrying something around, so good for him. No idea what it is he's up to. Work efficiency, 15%. Wow. Well, at least the price is right, but I mean, damn, that's not very efficient. I assume this tree farm of mine is also going to need two zombies, probably one to cut the wood and another to transport the wood. Okay, he's finally reached home base, and I want to see exactly what he does with this stuff from here. He's going to drop it somewhere. Hey, look, the zombie's back delivering whatever it is he delivers. Thanks for that. Appreciate the hard work. Finally, after this collection... We have enough points, because I also ran around chopping down everything in existence to get all the green points. Now, finally, we can make polished stones. That's a lot of work just to make something that polishes stones. Oh, I can't wait to see what it's going to take to build this mess now. It seems I have the ability to make a polished brick of stone already. Did I need to do the whole upgrade to do this? Did I overlook a step? Anyways, it now seems I can make my polished brick of stone, so we're not going to worry too much about the details. And there it is. Yes, of course, I need two polished bricks of stones, because why wouldn't I? All right, 14th time's a charm. Now, what was it? The alchemy mill. So we're going to go ahead and put that. Can we rotate these? Yeah, we can. Can I squeeze it anywhere here? No. Okay, fine. It's going over here then. Next logical step. We'll go build that and start smashing things together, and hopefully we get some kind of agreeable result. After inquiring about my little problem, I now understand what it is. You need to study the things before you're able to use them in alchemy. So if we were to study something here, say the moth, uh, which is a bit of a waste of stuff, I'm not actually going to do that, I'd be able to mix them together and make something out of it. So I'm going to go take some body parts out of my chest because I've already studied them and turn it into some kind of zombie stuff. Because if I'm understanding this correctly, the crop waste is what's needed for the zombies. Now, item study crop waste. Good. Uh, we're going to work on that because that takes work and it goes into powder. Now I should be able to make powder from the crop waste, probably at the other one because this one doesn't want to do anything. Crop waste. There we go. Now we're finally getting somewhere. There we go. We got a green powder on the ground. Finally, here we are crafting health powder and blood. Put them together and what do you get? Zombie juice. This is what you need to reanimate the corpse. 
This one is going in the river now because I can get a fresh one brought in that will be turned into a living, breathing, actual zombie. Now, Donkey stole his carrots. He'll bring another body tomorrow during the daylight hours. We'll turn that into a zombie quick and dirty. And then move on to the next one and then the next one and then the next one. And before you know it, we'll have a zombie army. And no body yet, so I'm going to go sit in my sandbox until it shows up. I'm really excited to get my first homemade zombie. I heard the corpse bell ringing, so hopefully the corpse went down to the body chute and isn't sitting up above decomposing rapidly. And it is. That's okay. 97%. I can live with that. You go there. Let's fix you up real quick. Not too bad of a corpse at all. Five white skulls. That's not bad. All right. You go there. Now, and it takes 10 faith points per zombie, so I got to keep up on my doing things. So resurrect. And off it goes. Cool. Now we got another one. So we're going to go put this one, I think, maybe in the tree farm to see what that does. Now, can I just place some kind of... There we go. He'll chop trees. I need one for the porter house. And then I just need one to transport the wood he's going to farm. It's a very slow process, but he's doing it automatically, so I don't have to think about it ever again. Now, I'm going to make a new zombie. The other one's going to continue just doing whatever it is he's doing. I don't really care right now. I want a new one. But before I can do that, I've got to make more zombie juice, so back to the basement. A little bit of crop waste and blood, and we'll be happy. Zombie juice, just like that. Now, do we still have carrots in the box? We do not. Luckily, I haven't even 10 carrots left over to feed the donkey, so that's going to get me a few more corpses, and that's going to be enough for now to get us some more zombies a rolling. Perfect. Hopefully, this is a nice, tasty, delicious, awesome corpse. Full of white skulls already that I don't have to put too much work into. Uh, well, it's not the best one I've ever had, but it'll work. Just as the other zombie conveniently passes by, this one's going in. He's already got something to carry, so off he goes. That other one's done with the piece of wood. Oh, I see. They stack up right here, so I can even take them if I want to. Excellent. Probably should build an ore stockpile because I think that other zombie's trying to bring ore and this has nowhere to put it. Now, before we can build our ore stockpile, I need more yard space because my yard is very full. Now, where is increased yard space? Very expensive considering what it takes, but that's done. Never have to worry about space for at least another 10 minutes. Not too bad of a body. Two red skulls. Nothing a little blood and fat won't take care of. I just realized why my body chute isn't working. I didn't fix the inside part of it. So that's a good body. That's going there. I just need a little bit more faith points before I can even do anything with this. So I'm going to have a sermon tomorrow, hopefully get those. For now, I'm going to make another zombie powder. And today's sermon is actually going to be one of the non-big for money ones. It's going to be the one for the other things that I need, the faith points, because I need zombies more than I need money. And there's the last two points I needed. I was worried. We were sitting at four points for a minute there. There's five. Lots of people turned up today. Let's go resurrect us a corpse, and we're going to put him in the mining thing, and hopefully we're going to get some ore stockpiled. And how do you feel about that? You know what? It doesn't matter how you feel about it. Ooh, we lost a skull during that time. Whatever. Whoops. Uh... What do we want to do? Cannot resurrect. Body is rotten. Are you kidding me? I worked so hard on this. Okay, I guess we're going to go bury it. And we got to wait for new ones. We got to grow more carrots. You know what? I've had enough of this. That's it for this one. Okay, bye.